All right, so now this weekend we start with Shamata and Vipassana. She yes. She may she fully pacify, nay abide, yes. And Shamata come abiding and uh, Tong. Yes, luck means extraordinary. Yes, luck or uncommon, um, uncommon uh, to the side that we usually experience. That we usually, you know, sort of like all the notions, all the understanding, all the visions, all the, you know, that everything that we tends to know or feel and uh, the understanding that we have. So that, uh, what do you call, uh, luck means uncommon to these ordinary or these common that we usually understand, we usually think, we usually see. So that you, uh, and that extra, extraordinary that you see or something uncommon that you see, that usually in normal, uh, life or uh, without these uh, kind of like methods of meditations, we never see, we never experience, we never really have, you know, kind of like, how do you say, uh, uh, it basically um, relies, yes, so that you realize, you see, you experience, yes, that is what the platform, the Vipassana, yes, so, so in fact, um, seeing what um, insight, insight, insight that you usually never seen, you know, that is always somewhere sort of inside of, inside of maybe this was, you never see, but is there insight. So, so you see now, what is there inside? With, with what? With the methods that you apply, yes? That with the method that you apply, uh, so for that, the our mind, our um, the channels, the energy they have to use, yes, and uh, and so all they are very important, even the. Sight. Usually here you use a sight. Shamatha and vipassana as a vipassana is a more kind of a sight because the eyes that we see, yes, look at the things, an the object. These eyes directly related with what the channels. The channels directly related with what the energy. Energy directly related with what the mind. So they are you see interdependent each other. So that's how, how, you, how you discipline the mind from the energy. There's one way, disciplining mind from the energy. Another way, disciplining, uh, disciplining uh, energy from the mind. So there are two ways, yes? Disciplining mind from energy, disciplining uh, energy from the mind. So the two ways, you know? So most of the cases, most of the exercises, most of, most of the practices, we use basically energy discipline the mind. For that, what Marpa said, to, to energy, energy discipline the mind, we need to use the proper posture of the meditations. Of course, the crook sitting posture, yes? <laughs> and uh, and uh, this kind of sitting posture, yes? And that kind of sitting posture, and then this, the undisciplined, let's say undisciplined, you know? Uncontrolled the body, yes? Which is opposite to the uh, supple, suppleness of the body, yes? So to supple it, to discipline it, you know? So proper uh, posture is recommended, you know? 
Um, so now the postural posture, of course, usually um, many different posture out of them, the seven posture of Vairochana, one, and the five posture of uh, medita meditation. So these two very, very uh, well known to all the meditators, yes. But out of these two, they're very common to uh, most of the meditators, the pra they practice, especially the uh, Kayu, the Marpa, our father or the four or, or ancestor, the, the one who started these, these sort of like the lineage, Kayu, Marpa, who really emphasized this posture. Yes. So, um, so, um, so the seventh posture of Vajra China or seventh posture basically for the meditations, somehow, it's so essential, so helpful, so important to help, to support your meditations. Of course, now the question is, well, um, without this, is it possible or not? Yes, it is still possible. You know, it's still possible. Like how? For example, for example, um, how you how you learn swimming, for example. You learn swimming with someone help, someone support, especially nowadays you, that there are lots of these, these kind of, you know, air floor things, you, you throw, you put one on the, you know, uh, one arm here, one arm here too, and then to the leg, or, or, or even, you know, to some sort of like, or to, to put uh, like, like above your, chairs or and then you 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 fast down it on it and then you just you know move your hand and leg all this support you can learn swimming with this support you know easier so you don't you know you don't drown or you don't sink yes of course without tutor without yes without anybody help without you know this kind of help you still can learn swimming yes still possible so you can understand like that with the support of body posture, or without support of body posture, I like that. As, as simple as like that. You know? So the question is, usually when you learn swimming, you want some instructor, you know? You want, you know, uh, someone who, 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 who help you, who teach you, yes? And also you have those kind of protections, you know? So what? What they do, they help you, they support you. Yes. As usually, I always, you know, uh, see the bicycle with the, you know, let's say three wheel or four or four wheels. You know, usually bicycle has only two wheels. But you learn when you learn, either somebody support you or you. Usually, you say you are when you are, you know, small, then somebody, some elder, some um, like a parents or whoever. Yes, someone who's hold and support and help you, and then you ride bicycle and then you learn. Or you, need, you, or you have support of two small wheels, you know, so that you don't fall. So, so you just need these two wheels to support you, yes, when you learn. Or somebody to support you. So either you learn with support, with two wheels, extra, so you don't fall, yes, ride or life, or you don't injure yourself. Out, or you, you have support someone holds your bicycle as your parents do usually, or grandparents do, or your aunt, uncle, or brother, sister, whoever, you know. So, with the support of this posture, without support of this posture, simply you can understand this way. Yes? Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, therefore, uh, Marpa, uh, therefore Marpa, who really, you know, uh, uh, told that Marpa said that Marpa said, all the Dharma that you have, you know, when Marpa was with the many different teachers, all the Dharma practices what you have, and the, what I have, these seven posture, if you compare the seven posture, what I have is, cannot be 
compact, it's incomparable. Such a value, such a marvelous giving, you know, said for this posture. So therefore, in um, in Vajrayana, yes, all the Vajrayana uh, schools, whenever you start to learn the meditations, you are uh, going to train this posture. No matter Kajuni Masaji Gelu, whatever, you know, all the Vajrayana uh, schools, you are going to train with these, the very, you know, the, the very, very important postures, especially for the Avukaji school, Mapa, the father of Gaju, really emphasizing these postures. So therefore, now we will go through these postures a little bit. As you know, most of you are not a new. Anybody new? No, right? Anybody not new? All are long-time practitioners, yes? So, so I will not go, I will not spend too much time on this, you know, so since you know, you have already idea about this posture. So I'll just go through, you know, briefly, so then we continue. All right. So, um, so now we shall start the, the posture, okay? So uh, uh, those also joining from the uh, Zoom also, so you have a, you know, comfortable seat, yes? Either you, you have a meditation cushion under you or without cushions, whatever, yes? So comfortably, so try to train this posture, okay? <clears throat> so now sit comfortably, whatever you can, okay? So that you are able to do the Vajra posture, if possible. If of course, those who cannot do Vajra posture, at least, you know, sit uh, in a lotus posture or half Vajra posture or right, or on top of left or left on top of right or just half or whatever way that that you can sit. Of course, those who are not able to sit while your posture, do not worry. You just sit, you know, as comfortable as possible. If possible, those who have trained already while your posture, which I'm giving you, you know, the some 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 technique. Yes, I'm giving you every. Every most of the morning, I give you, I, 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 I train you with this water posture how to sit water posture with some training, some exercises, some technique. So, if you have done this for one, two months, three months, I'm sure now you can sit. Yes, so if you have not done this every day, then of course it takes longer. If you have done this every day, every, every day you train this, then in one to three months, you are able to sit. Yes, so this. Technique, you can, those who have never learned, you can ask each other. The, the many uh, Sanghas knows already. And uh, yes. So, um, mm, so the first thing is place your body according to the, you know, whatever, you know, that uh, now you, you sit comfortably, if possible, what's your posture? Left in, right out. Right in, left out. There are two ways. Usually, as I said this morning, again, male and female, you know, the um, long time back, of course, there are big differences between the male and female, all level, whatever, society level. Now our, our, our world, our time, not much differences, male and female, you know, you know. So therefore, the right and left, left and right doesn't really matter in a way, but as you see all the Inlandian uh, Buddhas, yes, usually you see left in, right out, yes, including the Vaitara, including the Panjaparamita. They also appear, they are the, now the example, yes. So of course there are some traditions they say, oh, you know, finish, energy, whoever has female energy should, you know, sit uh, uh, cross left, you know, on top of right. There are some traditions also say that, you know. But if you look at Vaitara or you look at the Parga Paramita, all the female aspect of the Buddha is also the same. There's not, there are no differences. So, so mainly, you know, you can see it basically left in, right out. That is now the majority, yes. Or, or all the Inani Buddhas as uh, manifestations you can see in this form. So, that way, yes. And then, once you have done this, 
Now, the first thing is the legs are crossed. Yes, legs are, what is called, according to Vajrayana, it is called Vajra posture. According, when, when not related with Vajrayana, if you are not related to Vajrayana, that is called lotus posture, full lotus posture. Okay, according to the um, not Vajrayana related, then what is called lotus posture. You know, all the different terms they use, lotus posture. Or another way, they just say simply cross leg. Yes, cross leg. Leg is being just crossed, in fact. Yes. So just legs are crossed like this, you know. So, and then hands are in meditation gesture. Now two ways. Either right on top of left, and then the two come join together, yes, and put just as a meditation posture, and the thumb, the pointing at the navel, navel chakras, yes, like the height. That is now the very comfortable way, you know, easy way. Now, a little bit <laughs> uneasy way, yes, what we do according to the seventh uh, uh, posture, then what you do is, then you see the, um, what you call, now, uh, yes, yes. Mm. So, you are uh, the, the this thumb press root of the ring finger. Yes, now the little uh, different way is thumb press root of the ring finger, which symbolizes the all the neg negativities or negative thoughts. Usually, there's a one channels here. So, pressing this root of this ring finger, it helps to seize these negativities or negative thoughts, negative impulses. Yes, basically. So for that reason, so the, you, you, you press thumb back of the ring finger or root of the ring finger. Yes, that way, then, uh, then the remaining, uh, what you call the fingers, you know, the remaining fingers that, uh, uh, what you call, uh, red little bit, yes, like this, up to this, then you red little bit, yes, like this, or close, basically. And then the two index finger, not really red or close, you know, little bit open like this. So basically, it is like this, yes, it is like this. So that way, then, once you have done this, yes, then what you do, then, uh, press the, this back, yes, these two back, uh, press the back of the uh, fist firmly into the, this both groin, yes, this both groin, like this, press like this, yes, the back of this, back of the fist, yes, back of the fist, firmly into the both groin, yes, like this. So, so this is a uh, little bit uh, different than the the, uh, the first one. First one is just right on top of that and then join the two thumbs and then pointing at the navel chakras, which symbolize the fire mandala indeed. Yes, fire mandala. See the triangular shape, fire, fire mandala shape is yes, triangular, it's shapes like that. So this is, so these two both are fine, you know, well, whatever that you are able to do, whatever, whatever it helps you, you know, so you can choose either one, yes. So, so that way, okay? And then next, um, touch the tongue, yeah? Uh, uh, tongue, root of the mouth, yeah? Yes? And just behind the upper, uh, 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 the plate, yes? Back side of the teeth. If some uh, commentary of these, um, Meditations, you can find also a little bit rolled, you know, like this. Uh, a little bit rolled like that. But basically, most of the meditations, uh, um, uh, teachings, you can find upper, uh, the, the uh, upper plate, yes. T uh, tongue touching the upper plate, backside of the teeth, basically, yes. So then that way, then the teeth, uh, so, then the, the, the teeth, you don't have to uh, forcefully uh, touch, yes? The teeth should not, how do you say, touch uh, with force, but just leave its own 
or to say nature is naturally and uh, and the mouth also you know do not force to cl close or shut and just slide sort of like the, the between the two these leaves yes just um how do you say uh slide open yes yeah, slide open and uh, slide open and then that some breeze can pass still you know so that way yes and then then next then uh, strength straighten your arm yes your arm yes so it's a certain posture, was a posture, then the focus more on the set, this set, strain your arm, yes, like this. So, basically, yes, all, all like this, yes. So, um, the mark, but still, the marker one more, more in the, the second posture with what we did, yes, is that this, uh, the the back of the piece only uh, into the uh, the, the, the boat going yes this is the marfa uh, where marfa focus or emphasize but this is more common to others was um uh, meditators yes that you can find also so that way is and and then so this way, what you do once you do this, the shoulder basically lifted, yes, like a, a eagle wing. It's called like an eagle wing, yes, shoulder lifted like eagle wings, yes. And then after that, uh, the the chin slightly bent, yes, uh, like a swan, like a swan, yes, slightly bent, and and so. There is a like when you do like this, it is a tuck, tuck, you know. So basically, there's a one sort of gap that you can, tuck, you know, this, this should reach that is, you know, apple core, you know. So basically, the throat resting on this apple growth, this small ball, how do they say, yeah, like that. So but not really bent down, yes. Or sometimes it also says in the meditations, like an iron hook, you know, in multiple teachings also talk about like that you bend like an iron hook, but then it doesn't mean that you really make a leg, you know, like this, yeah. But in fact, you have, you, you, you have to do like this. You, you find that there's a one tuck that you have to find that. Yeah. So it's very now resting really. It's not like that you are pulling you know, then you feel tired immediately, yes, but rather this resting on these balls. All right, then, um, so, uh, okay, leg is done, hands is done, uh, then shoulder is done, yes, now uh, the neck is, is done, yes, uh, so basically the neck, the throat is pressing, yes, this, this, this kind of, the atom apple or this, this ball, yes, throat is pressing, pressing on this, yes. And now comes the spine, yes, spine. Spine is straight, like what? Like an arrow, yes, like an arrow, yes. Spine is straight like an arrow. So this usually help some meditators, they put also some kind of like stick here, you know, to make the spine very straight, like an arrow, you know, from between here to until here. But we use these two, you know, if you raise your, you know, like, like how do you say, the, the shoulder, yes, basically, if you keep this straight, then basically that you can really uh, help your spine you know, keep straight, yes. Then the next is the eyes, yes. Eyes are sort of like direct, straight ahead into the, um, the the space not some 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 people mistakenly they look at the nose you don't have to look at the nose it's saying that through the nose the tip of the nose yes then to the space yes you guess right to the start in the space uh sometimes four to eight or eight to twelve or twelve to sixteen fingers sort of weed you know in front of the tip of the nose from that you don't have to look at the nose yes so <laughs> look at the nose then it's, the eyes get very pain you know <laughs> so
so don't uh, don't do that yes so and uh, and then uh, so now there are two ways if you are meditating uh, as a uh, training for the now there are two ways sutrayana or tantrayana I would say yes and tantrayana where there are lots of you know visualizations you know the tantric shamatha has lots of visualizations so when there are visualizations if your eyes eyes are open then it's a bit difficult to visualize you know uh, so in order to visualize that mm, the, the most of the practitioners or meditators usually have found that if you shut or close the eyes then you can visualize easier you can really you know transcend from these ordinary view or sight you know to the pure land if you look at this side all the time having same people same places that you see still it's <laughs> rather difficult you know so therefore now there are little bit uh, how to say differences between these opening eyes and look uh, closing eyes but however as long as there's a visualization sort of like visualization sort of like meditation are there then of course somehow closing eyes you know you could close eyes and then meditate but mahamudra as long as far as mahamudra without visualization just resting your mind in its own nature or shamatha related with the meditation that is nothing to visualize then it's recommended really to keep your eyes open yes not to close so these are the differences here okay so then the next uh, would be uh, even in such a case your eyes also not really you know like uh, blinking all the time yes very like, like gazing gazing and then eyes sort of like how to say uh, uh, blinking of course somehow there there may be some uh, you know blinking uh, uh, that you, you could be uh, somehow if there are some blinking happens it happens is but in fact as less as possible without blinking you know if you can keep that's supposed to be like how do you say uh, uh, better or more, I would just say, um, uh, better for the, the 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 meditations to get to this to the, the to the to the reality or nature of you know the mind. So therefore, actually, the meditators they will somehow you know try to keep the eyes without blinking, you know, as uh, as long as possible. So that is one thing. And now the last is the leap. They were touching lightly and with slightly care between the teeth like that and the tongue. So this is the tongue, yes. So these are what we call one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. So these are the seven posture. Yes. Very, very important seven posture that helps. Now, of course, now I will go through the benefit of these seven posture. What it what they do, why they are important, you know. So we will go through this now. So, seven meditation, meditation uh, practitioners or uh, those who are meditating is, yes, you know, so, so this way, this seven posture, if you do, if you, if you see, now the sitting, sitting posture of the body composed the four elements, you know, uh, the, as we, if we've gone through this morning, you know, the, what, the four elements or five elements, they can be, how do you say, balanced, you know, with these sitting posture, one thing. Second thing, the, what we are, why we are suffering mentally or physically or, or everything, due to what? Due to the fundamental the source or the root defilement. So by sitting this sitting posture, also this defilement or these poisons can be seized can be dramatically reduced. See, this is very important. Yes. And the, um, the body where reside, where these Lula Yeshe Chimbo names means this body where the Yeshe Chimbo, the great wisdom, the great wisdom meaning the primordial wisdoms or coromagen wisdoms remain reside in this body yes so and that conversion of these primordial wisdoms 
cannot be somehow actualized. Yes, we never, we never have done this. We never really actualized. We never realized. But now, to actualize it, you know, to actualize it, we need this support also. So here, you know, uh, according to the the tantra, uh, the Kala Chakra and uh, Guya Samaja Tantras, you know, uh, talk about that the body reside the great primordial awareness, completely free from all concept, pervading all matter. It exists in the body, but it has not arisen from the body. So this is the you know the statements from the tantras. You know, so so the the reason here you know the uh, reason here that uh, why these are recommended is in order to look other side of the mountain. You want to look Mount Everest. Yes, how beautiful is it? If you are already on top of Mount Everest, you cannot see everything. All the shape, you know, everything you cannot see. But to look Mount Everest, you know, to exactly how it says, how beautiful it is, and how, you know, all the, the, the characteristics, you look from other side, where you are. From this side of the mountain, you can look that side of mountains. It's saying like that, you know, when meditation, uh, when meditators, when they try to point out, try to express, you know, how to watch the mind, how to watch the, or keep these prim, the, the, the state of mind or the, the, the level of the, what you say, the state of the mind or state of these awareness is. So how to be watchful, how to be mindful, how to stay. So usually the meditator gives such an example, you know. And uh, so, so what means here that, uh, that uh, to, if we wish to, uh, how do you say, uh, gain the realizations or to know that these primal wisdoms or this nature of the mind is yes, all the natural phenomena basically is, yes. So we have to reach a distinctive conclusions on the all kind of appearances, all kind of phenomena basically. You know, these are very important. And so if we, for, if we really need, if we really need, if we really want a calm mind, yes, so we need to discipline the body, yes. So body calms down the mind. The body, body uh, produces, you know, one way of the activities, you know, actions involved in the body somehow manipulate to the you know our let's say we, we, we let's say when we when we when we are too tired when we do some extreme sort of like body movement whatever the exercises or fitness or jogging or playing soccer or football or you know swimming or or mountain uh, cycling or whatever we do you know there are great sort of like connections to the also these the the, the energy and the mind and the emotions also somehow manipulate in that way. So therefore the body, you know, the body disciplining the body that can help us to discipline or control somehow the mind. So the, the connections between the body and mind, you see. So therefore now the scientists saying what? Well, mm, well-being of mental when mental state if if mental state is, is calm yes it's not disturbed not stressed there are lots of sort of like how to say influences to the body if your mental state is not comes over stress or is worry and so on this effect to your health also the body physical health also so such as cancer and so on, also can be caused just because of too much worry, too much anxiety, too much stress. Yes. So calm mind really helps in or immensely help to the healthy body. Now this is now the scientific also proof because since now our modern world is really much you know orientated with the science, medical science and the scientific proof. This is scientific proof also. So. 
No questions, yeah? This is clear. Now, no doubt. Scientific also proved that, yes? So, calm mind is so important for the healthy body. So this is clear. Now, um, uh, talking about this, uh, how do you say? Uh, yeah, come to the now, the purpose of this uh, body, uh, that we are sitting, the posture of cross leg, and the, the, the hand, and the posture of hand, posture of shoulder, posture of spine, spine, and the neck, and the eyes, and the you know, leaf, and so on. Yes. Now, the purpose, the first purpose of the place in the body is that the sitting cross leg. Sitting cross leg, what, it, it, what, why it is important? Now, you will understand that we have what? We have five roots, wind, energy, let's say. All related with our life, whether we have healthy, or whether we are, we are alive or we are, we, are, we are dead, yes, also depends on one root. What is called the life force wind. Such as then all the moving parts related with one wind, yes, all pervasive or pervading winds. And similarly, all the, you know, the speaking and like, the, like seeing and the, then, then, the, then the, the energy that you move up, you know, sneezing and the coughing and, the, and kind of like, you know, the, the, the eyes, the chair comes from eyes and then all kind of, you know, things that goes up above his head. There's one wind, then one of the root wind, you know, change uh, uh, which means the, um, the wind moving forward or wind moving, you know, head up. You know. Then one, Below these, you know, these two legs, you know, are related with these two legs and all the, the, the problems to the, you know, the joints to the leg and then especially to the, the, the urine and the stool and the toilet, yeah? And then the, the men's, the monthly sort of like blood menstrual and then the, the spine and also on everything, there's one wind, which, you know, which is one of the root, which is called tussel you know, downwarding. Uh, or ex descending, ascending, descending, you know, one root means. And then followed by then what? Then the, this part, digestive, interesting. Uh, you know, these internal organs related with these, we have what? One wind, another root wind. It's called what? Manyamnum, yes? Like a fire, uh, fire, uh, fire wind usually is called, yes? Sir? Uh, 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 then, so now the heart there that is the life force wind so these are five root winds yes so out of these five root, root winds by crossing the leg you know by crossing the vajra vajra what you call vajra posture cross leg or lotus posture whatever you say yes i, I according to the vajra, the vajra posture cross leg so the downward clear, clearing energy you know enters into a uh, central channels usually the problem here is all the samsaric problems, all the negative thoughts, all the impure thoughts, all the misunderstanding, all the problems comes, right? Because all the energy passes through, you know, the, the channels where they shouldn't be, you know, they shouldn't pass, they shouldn't, you know, they shouldn't, as you say, be in those channels. They should be in one channels, main, that is central channels. So long, the karmic wind of our thoughts and all these are passing through different these channels, then lots of problems, lots of suffering, lots of thoughts, lots of negative thoughts, lots of harmful thoughts, lots of these, the suffering basically caused to certain others comes into being. So by doing this social posture, it helps immensely these downward clearing energies, okay, enters into the central channels. It's very big help here, yes? And what it helps, the mind poison of jealousy subsides and you stay free from the hindrances. You see, out of the defilement, the poisons, jealousy. Jealousy causes lots of problems. We all have enough experiences. Yes, jealousy causes problems to you. Jealousy causes problems to others. Somebody causes you, you cause problems to somebody. We have done that. We have good experiences on jealousy. <laughs> so these jealousy cause problems to yourself, to your family, to
to the society, to the world, to the country, and you know, so on. So one, that's why it's called poisons. Poison usually what? Poison, poison, poison usually do what? They, or poison, it harms, you know? Poison usually kills, or it harms, it damages. So same thing, this jealousy, as in poisons, you know, giving a term, you know, level as poisons, this jealousy can be seized, yes? This jealousy, when you sit in this was your posture, yes, the cross leg, basically, it helps immensely the, the energy one way, the clearing the energy into central channels, the downward, the out of the five roots, and plus that the 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 how do you say the uh, the poison of jealousy subside. So that helps us to free from the hindrances, you know, hindrances. So one benefit is together with this vajra posture or the cross leg. Similarly, then the next is placing your hand, let's say, for uh, the, 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 like, uh, like an easy way to, you know, the touching the, your um, thumb together and then below the, uh, below the navel, in you know, the forefinger dip, these two hands, and then the two finger, uh, thumb pointing to the navel chakra, yes? That way, either you do this way, or the, or as we said, the the press uh, uh, the thumb to the root of the fingers and uh, the, what you call the ring fingers and then you wrap it all the other fingers and then the two index finger little bit open or you cross it and then you as uh, you say the uh, the back of these um, the uh, uh, fist firmly yes like this and into the board your groin, yes, these two groin, so this posture, yes, so these two, whatever you do, yes, so the water energy, yes, we have what, out of five elements, the water energy, water elements, yes, water elements or water energy enters into the central channels, yes, and the mind, the poison of out of the three poisons or out of the five poisons, whatever we can uh, relate with, yes, so the, the the main poisons of the these uh, uh, what do you say um, anger anger subside you know anger dramatically reduced anger become weakened now you know we also know we also have enough experience when we get angry yes when somebody gets angry how somebody damages how we why how we damage you know due to anger due to hatred we all have enough experiences. We all regret it so many times. We all damages others. We all damages oneself, our own, our, our own life and our loved one and our friends and so on and so forth. We have enough experiences on anger. Yes, clear. But now, this is uh, so helpful to weaken that, you know, these poisons or these defilements. So, anger, yes. So, placing this posture, or one of, one of these hands posture, basically, yes? So, reduce these, the poisons, anger subside, yes? So now the next is spine, yes? Spine straight, like an arrow, and the shoulder rests like the wing, yes? Usually it's called um, wing of eagle, in, in many, many sort of like, uh, um, uh, sort of like meditation, uh, 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 meditators or meditation practitioners, usually, you know, they will call, you know, the shoulder, you know, position like a wing of eagles, you know, however, I don't know wing of eagle is possible or not, but usually, you know, <laughs> it's just rest, you know. So shoulder rest like this, yes. And, uh, and then uh, sometimes wing of eagle, sometimes wing of, uh, uh, whatever that that you and I think eagle is kind of like more <laughs> how do you say very um, elegant I think <laughs> so however the then you you put that way and then that, that helps the what um, such so what earth energy or elements enter to the central settings and then the dullness you see one of the main obstacle to the meditations, dullness, drowsiness, mental sinking, yes, mental sinking, cloudiness, dullness, all this happens when we meditate, yes, 
when we meditate, slowly, first we have, first glimpse we have, very sharp, very, you know, fully sort of concentration that we may have. Then after 5, 10, 15 minutes, after one hour, two hours, after one day, two days, after three days, after one week, after one month, or maybe years, <laughs> then slowly, you know, you <laughs> drop down, yes? These power drop down, you know, like a battery drop down, battery, <laughs> battery is going to finish again, yeah? So, <laughs> yes? So, then, this, the, 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 like a mental cloudiness. You can see the sun beautifully, then the, very, the, the blue sky, then slowly, you know, become cloud like that, yes? Or that's why it's called mental cloudiness, mental sinking. So it's like everything is, you know, like dissolution, dis, dis, uh, dissolve, kind of like dissolution, dissolving, yes? Therefore, mental sinking, yes? And then, of course, dullness, then there's no any clarity, yes? <laughs> So this is, you know, one big uh, obstacles to the meditate meditations. So by, you know, by, you know, doing, by keeping this posture, yes, as we went through these, uh, the, the, the two shoulders and then the, the spine like an arrow, yes, like an arrow very straight. So this help, you know, this is very good help for the mental uh, thinking or drowsiness or cloudiness, yes. Then, uh, then we're then one, two, three, and uh, now, uh, okay, bending your chin, next, bending your chin uh, towards the chest, yes, not backward, yes, but towards the chest, bending your chin towards the chest, and the, the nature of the chest, and that helps the, such you may, Fire, fire energy, fire elements, okay? Fire elements enters into the uh, uh, the central channels, yes? Central channels. And the po poison such as greed, desi desire, attachment, uh, these subside, yes? This will help, you know? So it's very, very important, yeah? If you look at this, how they play the, big, uh, the, the role, yes? The big role there is so that way and and uh, so this is the very important benefit is by placing your chin forward to the chest or as I said before this throat uh, resting on these the atom sort of like how do you say apple or the ball you know so this tucking tuck tuck you, you can actually listen or you can actually feel at least tuck <laughs> you know, talk. It's like, it's like this, you yeah? know? Yeah. Yes, this you have to feel, yes. So, okay, one, two, three. Uh, so, and now the next, that will be uh, uh, eyes, okay? Eyes from the tip of the nose, yes, from there, straight ahead, your. Uh, Four to twelve, eight or twelve to up to sixteen. Four to sixteen finger width, yes. So that kind of like get in in front of you, yes. Not too, not too wide, yeah. Not too down, not too wide. Then it help. It, it what it does? Distraction, agitations. You know, it brings. You know, it helps for you to agitate or you know distract. You know, so. It, so, so actually, it's uh, for the uh, depression is good, you know. <laughs> for depression is good, but but it's not good for the, you know, shamatha, yes, harm abiding, and agitation. And then if you go too less than four to sixteen single bit, too too less, too down, then what's again mental thinking, drowsiness, and all these cloudiness. Again, it may you know happens. It may cause these kind of you know, problems. So free from this, the four to sixteen finger width around between there, you will find that you are your gap, your gap. Each and individual may find oh six, twelve, sixteen, fourteen. Between there, you have to find your gap. You know where is where your 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 positions. Let's say yes, that way. And uh, so. Uh, um, Okay, that, and then the tongue, tongue 
either you roll a little bit and touch the upper plate, back of your tree, or just basically touching the upper plate. And uh, so that helps what? Wind energy, yes, such as you may Wind energy, wind energy or wind elements enters into the central channels, and that helps to uh, the poisons, the, the ego, the pride, you know, ego, you know, basically, yes, these poisons, yes, these defilements subside, you know. So, um, so these are, you see, the benefit, you know, that you can see how beneficial now they are, you know, how important they are indeed, yes. So, so that way, um, how do you say, uh, uh, we uh, try to train, you know, of course, for the training of these, uh, of course, uh, that, uh, I'm not able to do it here at, at this moment, yes, but uh, I already show, I already given this training, yes, for the water posture with the butterfly, with the leg, and the right with the hand support, and then the front with the hand support, without hand, first with the hand support, then slowly. So if you train uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, six to seven different techniques, different, you know, uh, exercises will help you to sit while your posture, whatever level. Those who are already flexible, not really used to, in one month you can sit, okay? Those, then you have little difficulty, you know, to sit this way. Three months you can sit. And those really you cannot do at all. You have not possible, yes? You have left pen, this pen, that pen, whatever. If you do, nine months. Nine months is complete cycle. Why? You were in mother womb maximum eight, nine, ten months. In your birth process takes eight, nine, ten months. So that is the complete process. Within these eight, nine, ten months, maximum, usually nine months is average now. You know, most of, most of the baby, most of the child is born in nine months. Some eight, some nine, some ten. So within this cycle, let's say one year, okay? So you are able to sit this um, portion if you start to, to train from today, okay? Every day, today and every day. Okay, this way. So six, seven steps, you can get it from my secretary, those who are, those if you do not know at all, either you can get it from your Dharma brother, sister, they already know, many of you already know that I'm giving this technique. Those who really do not know, those who do not have any Dharma brother, sister to ask, especially who is joining from Zoom, you can ask, send an email to you know, my secretary and then you can get this video, you know, there's just very sh six, seven steps to train, to sit this posture. Out of this posture, the very challenging is, the most challenging is this cross leg or budget posture. Right? Other than that, you know, it's not that difficult indeed, you know. So, so well, um, this is possible, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, as I said, the key point of the mind is in the subtle energy. Key point, mind. Because everything is now here is the mind is the prime suspect, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so the key point of mind that, oh, yeah, that yeah, actually yeah. in the subtle My energy. Master Jiang Jing, look. Jiang Jing. Uh, I have to mute again. Let me new people join. Okay, key point of mind that depends on the subtle energy, okay? One thing, you have to very understand, okay? Don't forget this, yes? And then key point of the subtle energy, okay? First, one thing, key point of the mind is, depends on the subtle energy. Second, key point of the subtle energy is in the what? Depends on in channel, second, yes? Subtle energy passes where? They pass through all the channels. 72,000 channels we have in our this crazy body, yes? So, due to these 72,000, some are not in shape, good shape, some are not used, some are not in, in balance, some are used, all, all, some are overused, so on, and all the problem comes. Free leg, hand, you know, blood problem, whatever problem, sicknesses, everything comes because of basically these 72,000 channels are not in good shape or overused or they're exhausted. Either they never use it, either they never, you know, balance it, whatever reasons. 
So, so number one, key point of the mind depends on the energy or in the energy, or key point of the second key point of the subtle energy depends on the channels. Now three, the key point of the channels depends on where the eyes, the sight. You know, keep on, keep on the channels depends on the sight. Out of all the sensory level organs, the eyes are the most important related with your meditations because the eyes are directly related with these channels. You know, of course, others organs are related, but not as much as eyes play the role. So eyes, this is very important. Therefore, the right way of the gazing, right, right way of the eye, either when you have to, let's say, for example, uh, when you need to think of something, think of somebody, you know, think of something, think of somebody, or in, in fact, the problem that started in many li many years when you were very young or so on and so forth, what you do usually either you need to close eyes and then go back to that time, you know, the time gap, time zone, and the view, the changing, uh, changing of these perspective or these, everything depends on this side, in fact. You know, you see when you enter in the movie, cinema, yes? All light off, everything dark. Then you have this cinema, theater, this, 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 what do you call uh, the, the, the wall or this kind of like the sheet, this kind of like the clothing, yes, where this is projected. It's really much depends on the eye how the light is dreamed, how the light, like everything is dark. So you really feel you are in this world, you are in the cinema, you don't feel you are in, you know, like this world, uh, let's say you are in somewhere else. You really enter into this world where there's something is playing, something is showing. Or similarly, nowadays you have also this, you know, what you call huh? 3D, huh? 3D Google or whatever. Then, even you know that when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, you need to move in order to be in this world, yeah. Or some some birds is coming in front of you. You ah, you feel like somebody's really coming into you. But in fact, you you have, you just play with your eyes, you know. And then you feel you are in that, that world. You don't feel you are in, sitting in this room. You are in another world. See, the eyes is most important. You know? So everything to play with this is the eyes. <laughs> so therefore, it makes very sense. The, the relation between the eyes, the meditation, the, the, the Mahamudra especially. You know, the, our practice of Shamatha Vipassana related with the Mahamudra. Yes, or oh, the, the, the really nature of keeping the mind. Mahamudra just means that you are trying to bring back to the true nature who you are, or that reprimative wisdom, that Buddha nature, that co-emergent wisdoms, the great wisdoms. Yes, if you are able to touch this and stay in that state, that is called Mahamudra, in fact. So to touch that, to stay there, I place the right before as the, the, the connections as it is just we gone through. Yes, the, the the, 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 the number one, number two, number three connections we've just gone through. So these are very important, one thing, yes? So, uh, so otherwise, the, uh, I think now, it is, mm, am I going to detail? Then we are not able to, <laughs> We are not able to. I think today, today only the uh, today is not only enough for the shamatha vipassana. I think tomorrow also shamatha vipassana. No amitabha. I think <laughs> if we go like this. <laughs> uh, yes, however, doesn't matter. Huh? So anyway, uh, what shall I start now? Shall I go through more details or shall I come to now conclusion of that and then move to next? <laughs> no, we let, let this question answer that. Yes. Okay. So now, uh, okay, a little bit now try to, you know, as I said before, you all are long practitioners. You already know that. I don't want to go too much detail indeed. <laughs> 
<laughs> now you're asking more details. <laughs> okay, fine. Anyway, so the importance of these, the meditation posture is, now you understood, yes, why it's important. So the key points are not, you know, uh, how to say, kit and the body. Uh, if the body is, how to say, uh, reclined and, uh, you know, or, or crooked, yes, the position are not in good and the reclined and crooked, so the conceptual uh, activity will spread out, yes, spread out, and the mind will also not settle down, yes, as we have been doing, as we are, <laughs> who we are, what we have been doing so far, you know, all this due to, you know, undisciplined or uncontrolled, these posture. So sometimes it's saying that uh, in order to, <laughs> in order to, I don't know, let's say the very wild dog or very, I don't know, very wild dog or I don't know, maybe yes. Uh, they are saying like that. I don't know how this applies to you. Um, wild dog, in order to control the wild dog, what you do, you, uh, you have a belt and then you have a, you know, um, probably chain, and then you tie the, that dog somewhere, you know, somewhere, and that the dog basically cannot move, even though, you know, dog wants to you know, be wild and to attack other peoples or bite other peoples or so on, whatever. Yes. Similarly, the mind is so wild always want to harm others, always want to hurt others, you know, like a wild dog, you know, like a bite and like an attack. And now to control that, uh, this body posture is like a bell and the chain <laughs> to tight, you know, this wild dog to somewhere so that you, the wild dog cannot somehow attack and cannot cause damage and harm. Similarly, the, this, this wild mind cannot damage or cannot bring cause or harm to others. So, like a, like 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 locking. Why? What we do if somebody somebody break the law in a country, imprisoned. Yes, he or she kills somebody. He or she does something. You know, against the law. What they do usually imprisoned, isn't it? Imprisoned means what? You are locked in one room. You are not able to kill somebody. You are not able to do anything that you want to harm or you want to do something, you know, damages or bring damages to society or peoples. Yes? So just you just locked in the prison. S similar like that, example like that. The, wild, the mind that is so wild like the, 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 the criminal, yes, who really damage other beings. So therefore, there is a prison or there's a jail that then they are kept in there and they are locked there. <laughs> Not so good example, but it's like that. You know, the mind is like that. Mind is so far damaging, causing lots of problems to self and others all the time. Now with this meditation helps you to control this wild mind, yes? <laughs> so this body helps immensely. Is it clear? Makes sense. Is concentrating the mind that has not been somehow uh, so far uh, concentrated or that, 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 that mind, you know, somehow this wild, somehow always wander, you know, freely or wander sort of undisciplined way or, or, or a wild, very wild way. Now, uh, methods applying to the shamatha is that concentrating the mind that has never been concentrated indeed one here then stabilizing the concentrations two stabilizing the concentrations two okay once you have what you use usually the nine stabilizations of the meditations shamatha what it does the first one you are trying to what concentrate that you never have concentrated you're trying to concentrate on something now here what we use impure object Pure object, with, with, uh, pure, impure object, pure object, something to do with, within your body, or uh, no directly relation, relation to the body, some, somehow, you know, pure, impure, 
uh, then the, somehow using uh, beside this uh, body related or mind or whatever we call now let's say this usually we is just named as a body but include it's a full package full package of all the energy full package of all the sense, senses you know so when this body means not only the physical body only this time you know so number one then we try to con try to meditate try to stabilize the first thing is concentrating something that mind has never concentrated. The second thing is stabilize, stabilize, the stabilizing the concentration. Okay, how you do? 10 seconds, 15 seconds, one minute, you are able to concentrate. Within one minute, if no any thoughts, future, past, yes, no any negative, no, no any conceptual elaboration comes, then it's fine. If within one minute, some other thought arise then reduce maybe 30 seconds half a minute within half a minute if no any conceptual elaboration past future present nothing you are able to concentrate you know where you want to concentrate then it's fine otherwise if again some kind of like thoughts arise reduce 30 seconds to 15 seconds or 10 seconds or usually the very recommended time is just like this, one sip of water, one sip of tea, one sip of coffee, yes? That is the period you have to start. If you have never started with this, this time frame, usually we make one mistake. When we want to meditate, oh, now I, have, I need one hour, half an hour, you know? This whole is a just time frame. But when we start, we should start with such a you know, time frame, like this, one sip of tea or coffee or water. Yes, or uh, there are so many examples like this. Then now this is a simple example you can understand. Yes, so that's that is the time frame you have to start. Not you, you just uh, sit, sit like this for one hour, two hours. They do not help. You know, it might not help. All these whatever you do in doing one two hours may not be really or truly. It is not. It may not be truly sort of like your meditations. You know. It tends to feel, or oh, you are meditating one hour, two hours every day. But if you really analyze your mind, it's not such a place, not really fully concentrated. You know, not where you want to meditate is not there. You know, before you start your job, you are meditating, and then you are thinking about the job. <laughs> You know, you're already thinking about how to go, how to reach, how to catch the bus, and then the bus is, and you know, how many people are there, okay, led or not led, or then all the worry, you know, all the, the future things. <laughs> all about the past, you know. So basically, your meditation limit is probably very beginner level, it's just like this. One sip. It's very short, but that short frame time frame you are totally you are truly able to meditate without any these conceptual elaborations so stabilizing the stabilizing yes you are going to stabilize the time frame is not too long but what you do again and again again and again again and again if you have one hour, in one hour you have to do like this repetition of the mantra. Similar like that, this time frame, you know, sipping of the sipping the tea or water, that time frame you have to repeat one, two, three, four, hundred thousands like that. If you have two hours, three hours, one day, one month, whatever time frame, start with that. So quite clear and very sure that such a short time frame just sipping one sort of like you know water or tea that time frame probably most of the meditator or the practitioners wouldn't have problem of the extra thought or conceptual thought that is now the idea that is now the you know the end that we need yes so that's how you develop you know so one, two. Then the third here is enhancing the stability. It means what? You repeat, yes. You repeat, you repeat, you repeat, you repeat, you know. So some sometimes you get 
you know, confused. Okay, is the, the, when you meditate, it's saying that only five, 10 seconds, how short, how can I let this five, 10 seconds? In fact, five, 10 seconds sometimes is also too long. You cannot able to stay stabilized your mind, this crazy mind of thought, without conceptual thoughts in 10 seconds also. It's not that easy as we think, you know? We think, ah, oh, one hour, two hours, easily I can meditate. <laughs> you see? If you really check, it's not that easy, you know? Sometimes when we were young, yeah? When we were young, some, some tourists, you know, visit our monastery every day, 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 100, and like this. And they like to meditate, yes? You know, when we are doing some morning and evening, every day we have these two group practice, yes? And especially some special day, we have whole day. And then, you know, then they meditate and then, so basically they sit and then either they close eyes or open eyes and they say, oh wow, I have one hour, you no know, nice meditations. So I'm in some, then I ask sometimes, you know, those trees, yeah, how did you meditate? I just close eyes and I'm thinking about my past things. I enjoy the past things. I'm thinking about future things. I enjoy the things. <laughs> So you see, it's, <laughs> it's what to say now. <laughs> so completely sort of, you know, like we think and they think it's they are meditating. One hour, oh, wow, nice meditation, two hours, nice meditation. But in fact, it's not a meditation, yeah. <laughs> you just, you know, remembering about past things. Mm, now, yes, yes, these things, yeah, something, all the conceptual thoughts, in fact. They are not they are not the free from the conceptual elaborations. Meditation meaning free from the conceptual elaborations. Yes, no any fabrications thought. Yes, where you have to remain its own nature without these elaborations, without these fabrications. So they fabricate, you know, <laughs> when they say, "Oh, I'm thinking about future, what to do, and I enjoy." You know, all the fabrications are there, fabricated, you know. <laughs> Conceptual thoughts are there. So, so, you see, the one hour, two hours, we think, you know, sometimes we meditate. But in fact, 10, 15 seconds also, if we can start. Now, I'm, I'm talking about the beginning, you know, when we start. This, this time frame, we must really experience. We must really start with this time frame. It's just really recommended. Not immediately start, oh, okay, I can meditate now, at least, you know, one hour. Without this training, the shot and then the, the stabilizing the, the concentrations and enhancing the concentrations without this really proper way in the process you will never achieve the fruit you know the problem is there you know many meditators without going all this you know the training then you know then it's like this yeah same like this you are you are trying to you know, you're trying to how to say study uh, uh, university level without going to primary school, yes, without learning A, B, C, D, E, F, yeah? and then you want to go to university, yes. So you will go, of course, you can go, but what happens one day, two days, wow, not possible, finish. Then you will never able to get the result of what the university, whatever you want to learn, whatever you, you know, whatever. If you have gone through the A, B, C, D, primary to secondary to, and then high school, everything. When you go to university, you can enjoy, you can really, you know, digest, you can really understand, you can really, because you have done all the, you know, ABC, the class one to class 12, 13, 14, whatever you, you can say. So, so same thing is, these short time frame, many meditation practitioners, they don't think this is important, but this is a mistake. This is a big mistake. We have to stabilize them. Yeah, these meditations in such a time frame, short, and then enhance. You know? So that is very important, okay? This is very important. Uh, <clears throat> okay, one this thing I want to say, then, uh, of course, now, um, uh, so now, after saying these three methods given to you, okay, very important methods, yes, try to concentrate, try to use the mind, try to use our capacity where we have never used one, and use that, stabilize that concentrations, you know, stabilize that too, and enhance that. 
So these three very, very fundamental sort of basic that we need all the shamatha or vipassana practitioners. Okay, these three. Now to go from the first, we, when we talk about the using the mind or the concentrations that we never usually concentrated and so on. Yes. So here, usually talking about what? Now the focusing the mind on the object, focusing the mind without an object, focusing the mind on the breathing, uh, uh, with breathing, with object, without object. Uh, yeah, I think you can put into this tree. Usually most of the uh, meditation masters uh, in our lineage uh, usually focus on these three. The first training, focusing with object, yes, without object and with breathing. So now talking about the with object, yes, now difference, uh, of course, now with object, pure object, impure object. Pure object, such as what? Buddha's enlightened object, enlightened appearance. Now, especially in our case, you are Yidam, you are protectors, yes? Whatever practice that you are used to do, you know, easier for you to meditate with that, yes? So most of our Vajrayana practitioners, so of course we have a Yidam, we have a protectors, yes? And uh, of course, then if you have Dhatu and Nengondo, then we, you have a very um, uh, good meditation with, supposed to be here, yeah? is the, the refuge object, at least, yes? The six, um, six object, the three jewels and three roots makes the six object of the Vajrayana, the, the best, yes? So, out of these six objects, you can focus on whatever that you are familiar with. Yes, pure object. Impure object, now will you use your favorite cup, okay? Or now the bell, well, uh, no, no, these are pure objects. Now rice, grains, okay? Glass, okay? And uh, sometimes also uh, use um, uh, candle light, you know, the flame of candle. You know, or light basically, or different sizes of stone, different sizes of stick, yes, uh, different. So all the 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 ob meditation on object without the how do you say impure object, yes. So then, so if you are very good vis visual side person, then different kind of how do you say different kind of. Um, as you say, uh, um, uh, you can also use that uh, different kind of probably animals or different kind of places, different kind of building, different kind of so on and so forth, you know, that you can able to bring for your meditation objects, support. So, so now here today, when you meditate, one with impure object, whatever impure object, not related with the Dharma, not related with the spiritual, yes, not related with the enlightened journey towards enlightenment, yes, just your food, favorite food, favorite drinks, your favorite clothing, okay, your house, or whatever. But now, important here is what? Do not look the shape of the house, do not look the color of the house, do not look the shape of the, your favorite glass. Do not look the color of the, do not, what is, what is made out of this glass or what is made out of this cup or what is made out of this house, what is made out of this table, what is made out of this and that, whatever impure object, what you want to use, okay, including your jewelry or whatever, yes, but do not look, do not check, do not really search what it is made out of, what the shape, what the color, no, just guessing, placing them, as a support, as a support only, where your mind just, you know, concentrate or stay without going to the past, without inviting the future thoughts, without going to the past memory, past thought, without inviting the future thought, without following the present thought, going after the present thought, just able to stabilize your mind where you are naturally able to decide or stay. So that is what you do. 
with impure object. All the different kind of object you can choose. One. Second, with pure object. Now, pure object related with all the Dharma. Okay? Mala, Vajra, Bel, Jamaru, image of the Buddhas, okay, Dharma, Sangha, and uh, temples, and uh, everything, you know, that relates with your journey towards enlightenment. Any object. Same thing again. When you look at these Buddha's pictures or your Gita pictures or Vajra pictures, you are not going to check what they hold, what they wear, okay, or how they look like. None. Not like that way that you have been doing before, but now here, today, during the Shamanda training, what do you train? Just having them, merely just, you know, the support that your mind can stay or your mind do not distract to anywhere, to the past, future, any three times, let's say. Yes? So that way, how long you do? Short as one sip of you know, cup or, or water or tea, yes, or then, of course, start from there, then five seconds, ten seconds. If you are able to stay ten seconds, then it's good. If not, reduce. If you can stay, increase fifteen seconds. If fifteen seconds within that, no any conceptual elaboration parts, nothing happens, then increase again twenty seconds, thirty seconds. That way, by you know. Uh, you have to, how do you say, enhance the time of the meditations. That way you have to stabilize your mind, yes, the concentrations, with impure, with the pure. Next, with the breathing, okay? Now breathing is for yourself. Now breathing, there's nothing to relate with the breathing like Tonglen, not like Tonglen breathing, okay, sickness is going out, okay, my the breathing, uh, the black and the smoky breathing going out and then the light and full of the energy going in, not like that. Just merely using the breathing as an, you know, meditation object only, not really analyzing anything, you know, just, you know, watching the breathing only. So that way, you see, that way. So, so three meditations, uh, what you do with breathing, with pure object, with impure object. Okay, three meditations technique that we use. Okay, welcome. Bye bye. Okay, now we stop here for lunch. Bye bye, everyone. Mm.